Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you why the Eve Energy is my top pick for smart home plugs in the HomeKit camp today as of May, 2021. Let's check it out. Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you smart home content focused on Apple, HomeKit, and whatever else I find interesting. If you find that interesting, do me a favor, ring that bell, subscribe to be notified when new videos are added. So before we get going here, I want to say thank you to Eve for providing me the Eve energy here. You guys deserve to know where this stuff comes from. But as you know, you're going to get my real opinion on what I think about these devices. As well, I want to give a shout out to the Brad Lloyd for crossing 1,000 subscribers. He is a uh, up and coming HomeKit content creator that if you guys are not already checking out, definitely do that. And I also want to encourage anyone, if you're not already following Shane Watley and Shane Creates over on his channel, then what are you even doing we're almost at 50,000 subscribers over there let's get him over that if you're not already out there tell your friends tell your grandparents go subscribe to Shane he's a great guy and making great content but I guess most of you already know that Today we are looking at the Eve Energy. This is the third generation of the Eve Energy. And right now this is actually my top pick for uh, HomeKit enabled smart plugs for a lot of reasons. Uh, in fact, I would go so, so far to say is this is almost a perfect smart plug uh, if that's what you're interested in looking at. So let's look at the details first on this. This is a uh, North American version is the one I am looking at right now. So again, North American specifically, some of the other uh, regional products may differ slightly as far as some of the speeds and feeds. So let's make sure that's the one you're interested in. This is a 1800 watt, 15 amp plug, and it's got a lot of features in here. Um, again, it has got energy monitoring. It has got the energy monitoring exposed. Uh, so you're actually able to use this in automations. And I'm going to put a video link up here on some examples of what exactly uh, could be done with that. Some of the other things that I love about this plug, it is a slim fit, which means you can actually fit two of these side by side in a North American standard wall socket, which is kind of amazing. So one of the problems we have commonly seen in smart plugs is that sometimes they are overly large and when you put one in this wall socket, you then lose access to the other plug, which is not the case with the Eve uh, Energy, which is kind of awesome. As well, what else is in here? You've got automated scheduling where you can program schedules right into the device itself without having to create an automation in HomeKit. So you've got that built in if you just want to take it on the road with you somewhere. It is BLE as well, which means that you do not need a Wi-Fi network. So uh, I'm going to put a link up here for my, my hotel journeys once upon a time when we still went to hotels. This Eve Energy is a perfect product to bring along with you to enable your uh, your smart home right in the hotel or in a campground, whatever, wherever you're going to be that you don't have a Wi-Fi network. This is a great product for that as well. In addition to all of that, there is an on-off button right on the plug itself, child lock, so you can prevent the on-off button from doing anything. There is an LED and I love the little details. There are not very many plugs who have done this. They give you the ability right within the Eve app to disable that LED. So if you want to put this in your bedroom, for instance, and have the plug turned on, you don't get that LED kind of interfering with your, your blackouts if that's what you've done in a bedroom, right? So you've got the LED on if you want it, off if you, uh, if you want to turn that off. So I mentioned already this is BLE, but one of the things that they have done here that Eve has given us is they have given us Thread. So Thread is all of the new hotness within the HomeKit world right now and the smart home world in general. We're all talking about Thread about Matter. So I'm going to try to clear up a little bit using this particular product of a few things around Thread. So the first thing you're going to need for Thread is a Thread border router of which the first two available on the market right now are only the Apple HomePod Mini, as well as the brand new Apple TV 4K. So what exactly is a thread border router? Well, in the thread protocol, there is one device, at least in the Apple implementation of thread, that is going to bridge between your thread network and your Wi-Fi or wired network. That is called the thread border router. And right now, there are really only two devices that can perform that role, which are the Apple HomePod mini with built-in thread, as well as the Apple TV 4K, the new version with thread built in. So what's the difference between these two devices? Well, the Apple HomePod mini is Wi-Fi only, whereas the Apple TV 4K is capable of being either wired or wireless 
from a thread perspective, from a border router perspective, it doesn't matter which. Essentially what this means is that anything that goes on in your thread network is have, gonna have to go through that border router to get to the rest of the network uh, where all the rest of your Wi-Fi and ethernet based devices, wired devices are located. So now that we've got that out of the way, what does the Eve Energy do? Is it a router? Yes, it is a router, but it is not a border router. So this is going to be a thread router. So what exactly is a thread router and how is it different than a thread border router? Although you may have been told that the thread network is full mesh everywhere, that's actually not the case. This is more of a hierarchical network where you have certain devices up to 32 in a single thread domain or thread network that are able to operate as a router. And what that means essentially is that as you build out your thread network, you may have to take um, a hop through one thread router to the next thread router on the way to your border router or the reverse coming back in if you're trying to talk to a specific node or uh, accessory within your thread network. So now that we've got an idea of what a thread router is, you can use this specifically for that task. Although I'm not big on using smart plugs anymore as most of the devices in my house have been converted to, over to a full smart device, the Eve Energy, I've got these in a couple different places just to extend the thread network. So let's talk about parent and children devices now. This is one of the beautiful things about Thread, and this is why the low power is such a big advantage here, very similar to Zigbee or Z-Wave. So devices that are not always on, we refer to as a sleepy end device, a said node, or often a child device. And essentially what this means is that a child will pair to a Thread device, a Thread router device, and use that to enter into the Thread network. So for instance, as you can see on the screen here, you may have something like a Eve Aqua or, uh, or a Eve contact sensor. And these are children nodes. You can usually identify these by the fact that they are battery operated. The parent nodes, on the other hand, will typically be a full thread device and they act as the router. They will be plugged in all the time. So examples of parent nodes could include things like the Nanoleaf LED strip or light bulb or the Eve Energy. What makes the parent nodes so cool is these are the devices that will act as your thread routers in that network. And these are the devices which the thread mesh is built within. So what does that mean to you as a customer? It means that the more thread routers you add up to that maximum of 32, the more devices overall you're going to be able to add to your network and the higher quality your network is going to start to be. Which means that you should be able to avoid that dreaded accessory not responding. So in addition to all the other goodness that we have, where the Eve Energy can act as a parent device for child devices, like the Eve Aqua or the Eve uh, contact sensor, in addition to that, Eve has given us additional instrumentation that only shows up in the Eve app when you have an Eve Energy plugged in. And this allows us to better understand the child-parent relationships between our thread devices, as well as to understand what is the actual, the signal quality within our thread network. So as a networking person, this is a big deal for me and that it helps me understand the signal quality between the devices, which helps me understand where I might want to fill in some of the gaps if I want to extend my thread network and just make it as reliable as possible. So I'm a big fan of this device, but there is actually the one thing, you know, no review would be complete without finding at least something wrong with it. And that one wrong thing, one thing I wish Eve would have added in here is actually a USB port. So there's no reason at this point where I can't see why on a smart plug, you wouldn't just put a USB port on the side. I think that was a miss on their part, but uh, given everything else that is in the Eve energy right now, I would be happy to just plug a USB hub uh, into the front of it and just extend some ports that way. It is definitely my top pick currently as of the filming of this video for HomeKit enabled smart plugs right now. So what do you guys think? Have I missed anything? Are you any questions outstanding? Do me a favor, put those in the comments below and I'd be happy to address those as quickly as I can. Thanks to everyone for their support. And right about now here or here, YouTube should be showing you a video they think you might be interested in next.